Hello, hello! We are back! Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna beat up some plants. Uh, actually, before I beat up plants, I'm gonna get Koops out because, you know, Goombella can't do really much to these guys, if anything. Oh, I can just one-shot this battle if I just Quake Hammer. Let's not make the same mistake twice. Still worth some decent HP. One of them is worth three, the other's worth two. I'll take it. Alright, anything else? Oh yeah, you want a piece of this. Um I've got the FP to waste. And I've got the means to restore, so who cares? I'm doing this because it's fun. Take them all out. Get all that EXP. You grew up with Paper Mario starting in 2012. You'd probably never even know that this game series had EXP. You actually get better because you beat enemies. You are given more resources from fighting. In the other games, that you don't have to fight. You just have to find your power. And you don't need to use it. It's... Ugh! Infuriatingly stupid. Seriously, who thought it was a good idea to make your HP unlockables findable things in the overworld instead of, you know, getting them from battles? At least give me a reason to fight the enemies you put in the game. Don't bother being an RPG if you don't want to be an RPG. You would have. I really, really wished that losing Mario and Luigi would have been a would have been at the very least an eye-opener to revive your other former RPG series. You would think, but no. You guys literally said, if you want an RPG, go play Mario and Luigi. Well, we can't do that anymore. Nintendo. I miss their 20, 2000 to 2008 selves. They were so much better back then. That's my opinion, at least. I'm just gonna use my honey syrup to save myself the money. That's what. What was I going to use five FP restoration on anyway? It's like I have twenty now. Five restoring five is not that big of a deal. It'll be gone within two moves. Oh, we brought necklace. We look at the door as it's opening. I'm pretty sure we could still see her. She is the she her her house is really set up. Madame Flurry. Oh. My word! Mario, isn't it? <laughs> you Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Oh my goodness, I am being hit on by a cloud woman. Aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Oh, I am... A lot of people seem to think Mario is the most un most attractive man. I still don't see it. Oh, she's gonna give me some sugar. Oh! That's not a kiss, that's straight up getting attacked. She just bowled the other two over. <laughs> How absolutely marvelous, she says, as she specifically mentions that the rumors were spread by the rogue port lowlifes. Join me on my quest, bitch. And now I present to you guys one of the reasons why this game probably should have been a little higher on the age rating. This is how Mario uses her ability. He grabs and squeezes her. Unless that's her arm? I can't tell. 
I could have swore I caught a little bit of gold there, so that might have actually been our arm. I might need to test that. I... No, I cannot tell. Either way, this game got a lot with... Dude, this game got away with a lot. And I am so happy that it did. And it just makes me so upset that Nintendo has lost that touch. Mmm. What a shame. There's a reason why this is my favorite video game of all time. It's just... This was probably Nintendo's peak of their career, in my opinion. Like, this and Super Paper Mario were just games you'd never see Moon Nintendo do again. They don't have the balls. Which is a shame. All right, we have a new partner. However, most partners at low at their base level still only do two points of damage. So, on all things, all things considered, Coops is still probably our best offensive option. There we go. Man, I, I wish I could go back to my prime. Well, I need to practice up this game again. It's been, I don't play it nearly enough as I used to. That's because this was my favorite game. I played it a lot. And in hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have, because it's harder to get... Even though it's my favorite, it's just like, it's harder to go back to. But, like, I was ready. I was ready for this playthrough. Oh, I got an email. I'm going to ignore that and continue traveling. Most of the emails don't really have much. You can... When you... You can get emails from other people. <sighs> more or less just little fun things to read. More people from your quest, stuff like that. There's a badge over here I'm gonna pick up. I don't really need it, but get everything I can find. Increases maximum FP by five. That's something I might put on later, but that takes three FP, so it's like not likely. Well, then again, what are my options? Um, if I level up FP, I might do that, because I don't know what other. I, I forget what other badges I'll find in this chapter. We've got most of the big ones out. Quake badge especially is something good to have because it strikes everything on the ground and there are a lot of ground bound enemies. Hmm. Well, congrats. Our battlefield just so happens to take place on a stage. Big question, how on earth did he figure out how to use that door? Zoom. Money. Hey, don't. There is nobody here. Also, in this giant-ass tree, everyone just congregates at the entrance all the time? I said everyone's usually here. There are a lot of poonies living here, guys. Ah, uh, yes, let glory and let glory be the reason why you fail. You should have listened to your buddy. Also, that's an item. I would like to take care of that ASAP before I title on these guys. Uh, whenever there's an item on the field, I usually take, I usually end up prioritizing. I don't like that. Oh, I tried to guard that, but I failed to guard that. In hindsight, maybe I should have maybe I should be my partner should be the one switching out. An enemy combatant. Yeah, so basically it's just a foot soldier. Oh, 
Oh, guarded. Okay, I guarded that one. It didn't look like. Oh, hey. No. Cut that out. I've got enough to deal with with the characters on stage, thank you very much. I don't need my audience presenting a similar issue. Oh, I messed up the stylish timer for that one. You should have ended the battle on a stylish move. Come on, Gabella, get it together. Your idea. Run, fools. Don't let me catch you on this side of the tree ever again. Oh, <gasps> hiding. Good thing you guys are paper thin, you can fit back there. Yes, be afraid of anything that's bigger than you. We've already established that. This guy almost peed himself. I'm not touch I'm not gonna eat that. The rest of you piss yourselves, you should be fine. There are so few. Were you expecting a hundred poonies to hide behind these three giant vase-like objects? Well, were you not just paying attention to the fact that I was beating up? He might be one of them. So explain to me your logic if I beat up my own. If I was on the same side as them, why would I beat them up? Look at this guy having absolutely no respect for someone who's trying to do something. absolutely sure about that. How about I step on you to make an example? I'm pretty sure you'll pop. You're half my size. Well, this guy's just a dick, so. We're gonna, we're gonna ignore him. I'm also going to sleep. I like to, even if my game could possibly, even if footage could get shit on during recording, I would like to at least remain prepared in case my game crashes. Because if that happens during recording, well, I'm going to lose everything anyway. Going up. All right. Let's see. What could we talk about? Oh, bush. All right. I'm trying to think of something to talk about, but it's hard to talk to the camera, or my mic, I guess, when, realistically speaking, no one's really here to talk back. And it really also relies on people leaving some comments. And watch. Oh, I meant to tattle on this. Hmm. You know what? Here's a question. How many people watching this have played the Paper Mario games, any of them. Like, I, I'll even include those three of that came after this. If you, what Paper Mario games have you played and which ones do you like? Like, obviously speaking for me personally, I like the first three because these are just masterpiece games that have a lot to do, a lot with them. Good stories, good character designs, good gameplay. I will, I'm still planning on a ranking video for the Paper Mario series, so you'll get a lot of my full opinions out there at some point. But for now, I can say, obviously speaking, I love the first three, because they're a lot, there's a lot more to them than the modern three games. I will say, I've played all three of the modern games. I played Sticker Star a few times. I've played Color Splash twice, and I've played Origami King once. 
And I have my opinions on them. I don't want to say too much because I eventually do want to do that video idea and I want to actually post that so you can get my full opinions. But let's just say my opinions on those three are either negative or mixed. A, like, Sticker Star, I will just go and flat out say that's like going to be a strong negative opinion. I do not like Sticker Star at all. There's more to it, obviously, but in modern day, base of things, Sticker Star, I think, is a bad game. Personally speaking, I do not like it, and I think it's a bad game. The other two are a lot more mixed. Like, they do a better job than Sticker Star, but they have very similar problems to them. And those problems are very, very hard to ignore. Let's get rid of these guys. I don't want them pulling up their shields. Alright, close to a level up. We should, yeah, we're about like seven away, so we can find another big battle. We'll get our level up. Might not be this episode, because I think we're up where we need to be. Oh, wait a minute. It depends on... I don't think there's going to be enough of those guys for there to be a, to warrant a... to warrant a level up, so... Um, ouch? <laughs> you got hit in the back of the head and knocked out, and you're, can, you're questioning whether or not you should be hurt by it? You're looking well. Well, we, we we can only do so much. If we have to rescue you first because the only option is to rescue you first, well, you're going to have to settle for that. Alright, key. I'm going to assume blue key, open blue door. We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? We must face it. Stop right there! There are windows in this tree. Not with glass, but there are windows. How do you know? Earth does she know where the crystal star is? Also, wouldn't have been too much to ask if you were to nab it for us. You're a thief. Come on, help the guy, help the brother out. Oh yeah, there's only one. Of them. This guy's not gonna be worth a level up. He'll be three star points at best, two at worst. I'm betting three. Yep. Oh well. oh well, one more battle and we'll definitely get our level up. Ooh, key. And a treasure chest. With an ultra musher with an ultra sherm in it. We do not need that. That thing restores 50 HP. I only have 10. I do not need that. It's OP is AF. Okay, red door open. We're back. We're here to rescue you. You foolish child! Mark and I had this thing where we would give the Terminator voice to this pony for no reason. Sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut! What did I do? I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you mind your elders, you whelp! Jeez, talk about ungrateful. Why is this chapter filled with ungrateful characters? Absolutely shameful. I went to find. I, I know a lot transpired by when he was um, gone, but uh, keep in mind you'd all you'd all be locked up if he didn't leave to find help. Keep in mind you would not be rescued if he did not find me and get you to get me to help. Jeez, be a little more appreciative, why not, would you? From now on, you've got to get your act together. 
Ah! On the answer once! Oh, you are a stingy little bitch, aren't you? Why are you here anyway? I am the governor. The elder is the governor. This damn stench, I think that's you. There she goes. Yeah, that was fun. Listening to an old hag ramble on about responsibilities. And it is your responsibility, viewing audience, as Mario is looking at right now, to tune into the next episode so you can find out what happens on this magnificent journey that is most definitely new for all of you and isn't about a game that's been out for almost 24, e or 24 years. I don't even know. I think, no, not even 24, way less than that. I'm pretty sure the game just had its 15th anniversary. In any case, it's not totally not an old game. You guys should definitely keep watching. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you then.